what's happening guys this is the android 9 on the oneplus 7 and this is the android 10 on the oneplus 7 oh sorry uh i guess yeah that's that's android 10 surely yeah what's the difference let's find out The Android P has been in the market for about a year now and it's a ritual of Google to announce another Android name but this time they have come up with nothing. Uh, but of course with Q what dessert name will match anyway. So they have just termed their new Android as Android 10. Now it's a great news for the OnePlus fans and OnePlus community people because we are getting the OnePlus 10 Android update after the Pixel phones itself. This is why OnePlus is thriving with every device they come up with every year because they listen to the customers, they listen to the fans, they listen to the community and they do what we need. Enough chit chat, let's jump into the video right on. So I'm installing the Android 10 update via a zip file that I downloaded uh, while I was away and I was having a great internet speed. So without actually waiting it for to get on my phone, I installed the zip and just a day after it came onto my phone. Alright, now that it has installed the Android 10 and of, of course it's gonna need a reboot to get into the system. So let me just reboot the phone right quick. As you can see the boot animation is also changed. They have tinkered a little uh, Android beam right there. Now that it has finally booted into the Android 10, as you can see there are some system transitions that are different when you just press the power button. Being honest, I don't really see any change in the speed of the fingerprint scanner. I actually see a reduced speed from the OnePlus 7 Pi edition, but it might be just milliseconds. Opening up the UI, the UI feels really really smooth, very responsive and in the app switching it also feels blazing. Now most of the changes are happening in the settings menu of this Oxygen OS 10 or Android 10 I say. So let's just head to the settings itself. Now as of using this phone I have seen 4 of the major changes in the settings and that are one is customization, the second is the gesture buttons, the third being the apps and the notification, the type of notification that you can get, you can customize every notification and the fourth is the digital well-being. Now as you can see in the customization tab you can choose the wallpapers, the clock style that you want on the tap uh, notification bar and you can customize buttons, tone, icon pack, shape, font, whatever it's all here. So it's a new tab in the settings menu and it's very good. Let me just go through some of these customized settings just right now. Alright, coming on to the next major setting that has changed. So there are a new set of buttons that you can choose from this time. There is back home recents button. So there are the buttons that are shown on the screen itself. And then there is navigation gestures left and right. So there is a slider that is provided at the end of the screen for that. And then there is navigation gestures bottom which doesn't have any slider. You have to learn it how to use them and actually prefer the navigation gestures from bottom. Once you learn how to navigate from the bottom, you will never turn back. The next one of the most important thing that they have added in the settings is the digital well-being and parental control. This setting that you can get from a lot of third-party applications and there is also a Zen mode that was available on Android 9 on the OnePlus 7. A lot of other companies are also implementing it as a setting and OnePlus has also done a great job in the Android 10 update. As you can see in the digital well-being, you can see how much you're using the phone daily, how much unlocks you have done in a day and how much notifications have come in a day and a lot of things the wind down is a setting i guess it's to grayscale your screen and remove the color out of your screen and it's uh, uh it's a little weird you can see this dashboard settings right here and you can see how much you're using the app for how long and you can see a chart being built right here right now i'm trying to get the easter egg from this uh, setting that you can get from the about phone and then android version and tap on the android version 10 and you can see android 10 you can make this android 10 you know just the 10 to a q and you'll tap this five times and you'll get an easter egg 
so i don't know after that it's just a painting thing you can paint anything and make a queue or anything like that i don't know after that uh, the easter egg is there or not uh, or this was just the easter egg you also get a dark mode built in this oxygen os 10 and this is not the dark theme that you used to get on the android p but this really gets dark the google chrome gets dark the notification that you get on your notification panel gets dark so a lot of things a lot of apps gets dark with this dark mode another thing that is major change is that the notification notification that you get on your notification panel how you can customize it you can customize it as an important notification or you can customize it maybe other notification that you don't want to see every now and then but you want to see sometimes it's a really game changing thing that the google has done with the notifications and the privacy settings a lot of things can be customized in the notification panel that some apps gives you very annoying notification and you want to turn that off but sometimes you want to see them also so you can customize a lot of things in the android 10 i'll still make an, a comprehensive review on the android 10 update on this one plus seven some days later this was just a quick comparison between the android 9 and the android 10 and android 10 feels a lot smoother than android 9 and there are some changes that i've made in android 10 that i've mentioned four of the specific changes and I'll dig deep in the comprehensive review later on this week or maybe uh, next week. So hope you like this video and if you did, thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.